Thank you, Mr. President. Members, let me just have your attention for a moment. This morning I issued a statement <clears throat> on the death of Jamal Sutherland. Mr. Sutherland died while in custody of law enforcement back in January. In Charleston, we've known Jamal's name for some time. It's been written about most recently by Brian Hicks of the Post and Courier. But soon, people across the country will know him and will be calling for the same answers that his family has been searching for since he was killed in January. Unfortunately, I believe that the coming days will give the public a grim, heartbreaking look into Mr. Sutherland's final moments. While I have not seen the video of his t videotape of his death, I've had discussions with people who have first hand knowledge of it, and they all find it very, very disturbing. In this regard, we must begin with the premise that mental illness in and of itself is not a crime, and certainly not deserving of death. At minimum, when law enforcement is involved, they must be adequately trained to intervene in such situations. I know of very, very few circumstances where a mentally ill person restrained and behind bars should result in the death of hands by the hands of law enforcement while in custody. At this point, I would simply ask that the public be patient as the videotape, as my understanding, will be soon released and ask for patience as all of the facts unfold. And I would also ask law enforcement and political leaders and the public at large to understand the deep frustrations these situations cause in communities of people who always believe that they are beaten, battered, and even killed at times for no justifiable reason. Clearly, there must be accountability and systematic policy changes to address this issue. Thank you, Mr. President. 